The Swapo Party's Youth League Secretary says the wing's main focus is rural development and that time has come for the youth to work extra hard in addressing the bread and butter issues facing people in rural areas. Consulting communities at villages and in remote settlements on how best they think their needs can be addressed should be part of the strategies. Dr. Ngurare also called for the allocation of budgets to be done on a constituency level and each constituency office be given the required funds to carry out programs aimed at uplifting the living standards of people in that constituency. So that the Constituency Development Committee has the resource from which to start to address and identify the communities that are in need. By that I mean we need to put a good budget to the program of food for work and cash for work so that those impoverished communities can do some work and from there they can be paid. Impoverished communities, they must be helped by the youth, unemployed youth in villages and communities. The extension of social amenities to all rural areas must also be a priority as this will generate economic activities there. The outspoken youth leader told NBC News that when rural people are equipped with basic services, they are likely to be productive and start up income generating projects and employ fellow rural dwellers in turn. He also lashed out at the allocation of tenders for rural projects to those doing businesses in Ventuk and in other towns. I disagree that the tenders must come from Ventuk. No. The tenders must come from the, the villages. The problem of this uh, central, centralizing tender is what has brought the, all this problem of corruption that we have. So let the villages themselves get these needs. And I call that common sense economic development. The youth appointed and those aspiring to take up national duties should be given a chance to work alongside government and the people on the ground, he added. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.